What is up everyone? Welcome to an unboxing video and a donation video and an upgrade to my kitchen sound system all in one. Now, as you guys know, a couple of weeks ago, I think probably about three weeks ago or something, two weeks ago, I installed a kitchen sound system with one of those little amplifiers and a pair of spare speakers I had. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. It was a really fun project and that system has been working fantastically. I have been using a Bluetooth receiver with it, as you guys know, uh, with the intention of upgrading to a Wi-Fi based solution eventually. Now, a lot of people recommended the Chromecast audio in that video. Uh, I didn't even know that product existed when I uh, initially set up the project when I bought the stuff I needed. Um, that is an awesome little product so, and as I say I didn't have a clue it existed but now I do so thank you uh, to my wonderful audience for letting me know that that exists. But uh, a, a donator, a viewer, someone who wishes to remain anonymous uh, reached out to me and sent an airport express which of course I mentioned in the video as being something that I would like to upgrade to in the future and uh, this is brilliant because it keeps in line with the app Apple ecosystem in my home as you guys may or may not know I um, already own an airport extreme as my main Wi-Fi access point and I own an airport express as the sort of upstairs little booster if you like uh, which is here in my office because the office was getting terrible signal because it's behind an exterior wall. It's an extension. So um, having this, it, this is not going to act as uh, a range extender or whatever. This is just purely going to be for audio playback. So if I was to buy this brand new specifically just for this task, there are much cheaper options available such as the Chromecast audio. However, um, it was a donation which I'm extremely grateful for and I can now put it to use in my kitchen. So, lovely bit of packaging here and let's just rip the tape. Very nice packaging. Oh, we have a note. Let's check this out, Tom. Let's have a little read. Hopefully I can read this on camera, folks. Hi, Tom. I hope this reaches you well and the package is is in one complete and working piece. I think it definitely will be. This is one of the best packaged items I've had in a long time. This little bit of kit served me well for years until I decided to invest in an Airport Extreme. It should make your kitchen audio setup a lot more streamlined. That is extremely true. Hopefully you'll get many years of service out of this little box too. I know you'll do something amazing with it. Keep being awesome and give my best wishes to Jess and the little man. Best wishes, Andy. So Andy, I know you mentioned in your email that you wanted to remain anonymous and uh, when I asked if you wanted any links in the video or whatever, but uh, seeing as you signed your note, I thought I would just let everyone know your generosity. So apologies if you didn't want me to say that, but that's a wonderful note. And a, a shout out to you, um, Big Style, for printing this out in lovely, lovely big font so that I can read it with ease. Andy, big thank you, buddy. This donation is awesome. So let's continue digging into this really, really well packaged airport. Oh, no way. No way, folks. Check this out. This is awesome. So we've got a lovely box, lovely packaging, and look at this. What a bonus. This is an Apple bag. Um, I've only ever had one Apple bag from an Apple shop, and that was when I bought my iPhone 3GS back in 2009. Um, so this is awesome. I did get an Apple bag with my iPad, but it wasn't a proper Apple shop I bought it from, so it was like it had other markings on it as well as the Apple logo. So it's wicked. This is my second ever Apple uh, Apple Store bag and it's awesome. So look at this original packaging. Lovely, lovely bit of kit here, folks. Look at that. This is my second one of these and both have been donations. The the uh, the kindness of my, my viewers just never ceases to amaze me. So let's peel this out. There it is, the Airport Express packaged pretty much brand new. My word, this is amazing. Let's leave that to one side and take a little look in. Wow, look at that. Pretty much brand new. In fact, this power cable looks brand new, never used. So nice to have the original power cable. And there in the bottom we have the documentation. 
as you guys can see, all of the little booklets and everything like that. Very, very nice. And we've got limited warranty Apple accessory little booklet as well. So we'll pop those back in there. We shall indeed carefully unwrap the power cable. There's one piece of sticky. And here's the other. Pop that back in there. We have the power cable, which of course is very, very nice. And let's put this back. Let's have a look. Let's do that. These Apple boxes, absolutely gorgeous. And let's unwrap this, which, Andy, I have no idea how you wrapped it back up like this, but this is pure, pure skill, my friend. So let's do that. I'm gonna keep all of this absolutely perfect in the box and a little surround. This is like brand new, guys. This is wild. There we have it. There's that. There we go. Keeping everything extra nice in there just so that I can maintain all of the original packaging. So there we have it, little uh, Airport Express box. And here is the unit itself. So these are incredibly simple and very, very flexible little devices. Um, so here's the top with the Apple logo. Here's the front with the little LED. Here's the bottom, sort of a grippy kind of rubbery feeling plastic. Um, very nice, another Apple logo on the bottom. Nothing on the sides and then on the back, we have the power input. One very nice thing is there's no transformer. That is a wonderful thing about the Apple Airport devices. They've all got built-in power supplies, even this tiny one. So we've got the uh, figure of eight power supply input, two ethernet jacks, a USB and uh, audio, which is of course what we're gonna be using. This is only gonna get power and audio. USB is awesome on these as well, folks. This is such a powerful little router or access point, you know, being able to plug a hard drive in there or a printer or whatever, super, super cool. So what we're gonna do now is configure this uh, Airport Express. And uh, I'll plug it into the uh, main network because it'll be part of the main network, but I'm just gonna configure it uh, for the use that I need, and that is audio playback. So let me quickly boot up my machine and refresh myself of the settings that I need to apply to this guy. So here we have the new Airport Express connected to my network. It's just booting up there, it's orange, um, or either that or it's orange because it's waiting to be set up. There's my existing Airport Express. This one is being used um, to, yeah, in conjunction with my Airport Extreme to uh, give me a nice Wi-Fi up here. Um, there we go, it's turned green now. So we should be able to jump into the Airport Utility and configure it exactly how we want to. Here we are, folks. Here is my Airport Utility. You can see the Living Room Airport Express, uh, Extreme, sorry, the Office Airport Express, and now this one, which we're gonna set up as a kitchen which is cool. Enter the password to view more information about this base station. Ah, it's password protected. That's okay. Rock and roll, guys. We are up and running. Um, you see this diagram. Um, we've got my main uh, airport base stations connected hardwired and you see the dotted line here to the kitchen one. That's because that is acting as extending the network, but through um, wireless, so uh, it's got no ethernet connected to it, which is exactly how I'll be using it in the kitchen. Hopefully it'll be stable. Um, I think it'll be pretty good. They've got brilliant articles on the Apple website telling you how to set it all up properly. Um, this is called setting up and configuring an extended wireless network for the 802.11n uh, airport stuff. So that's the expresses and the old extremes. And then we have this one, um, which is talking specifically about AirPlay and how you want to set it up. So this is me uh, connecting to an existing Wi-Fi network as part of a legacy uh, WDS or extended network. As you can see, no physical cable connecting the primary uh, router to the Express. Whereas if you come up here, you can see that is the Airport Express connected. Um, just like I've got my other one connected, basically the one in here. Anyway, um, all of this stuff aside, I'm gonna go and stick it down in the kitchen and uh, see if it works. Right then, folks, here we have the little express and here we have the setup, of course. So, um, by the way, I did end up buying one of these things. One of these turned four sockets into uh, 
no, turn one socket into four sockets. I've got my iPad charger there powering this Bluetooth thing because the battery life isn't as good as they said it was gonna be. That's one thing that annoys me is the charging. So this is gonna be retired as long as this works out. So let's pull this charger out. And what we'll do before tying anything up, we'll just quickly plug it in and make sure that it actually works. Now, one thing that I forgot to order was a very short uh, audio cable. So I'm just using um, a relatively short one for now, but I will get on to ordering a much, much shorter one in a minute after we make sure that it all works. Let's plug this into the amp. Sorry about the washing machine noise in the background, folks. There's that. And now, moment of truth. We'll connect the Airport Express to power, like so, and wait for it to turn green. So that is a super good sign. We've turned green and we've got no Ethernet connected. So this should be connected to the wireless network. Let's go and see if we can select um, this as a playback device. Uh, where are we? Airplay. Ah, that's that's video is it yeah here we go check that out guys kitchen is there sweet now let's play some audio let's turn the amplifier on so yes, I know you're hungry. it's working with volume as well I am pleased with that, that is awesome. So this would have been super expensive if I'd have done this from the beginning, but because this was a donation, an extremely generous donation, it means that I can have a lovely airplay setup and uh, yeah, that's a huge upgrade over, over the Bluetooth thing. The Bluetooth thing was annoying because I don't use any Bluetooth devices, so I'd have to enable my Bluetooth just to listen to music in here, then it'd have to connect. I'd have to make sure I specifically switched this on by holding down the power button. Sometimes I held it down too long and it went into sync mode and stuff, but this, this will stay on 24 hours a day. So if I wanna to listen to music in here, as you guys saw, I just slide up and select, um, select kitchen. The next thing now is to get living room set up with an Apple TV. That would be mint. Um, but yeah, we are slowly, slowly getting there in terms of a smart home, or at least my idea of a smart home. And um, I am so, so pleased with this. I know I've only used it for literally a few seconds. I don't want to get hit with a copyright. But this is seriously cool, seriously cool. So Andy, thank you so, so much. Um, your generosity, absolutely awesome. And the generosity of everybody that, that donates and everybody that watches videos absolutely awesome um, oh one thing let's actually attach it somewhere shall we it's just sitting here should we attach it anywhere or should we just pop it on top of the microwave so guys for now I've just popped it on top of the microwave as you guys can see it's just sitting there very similar to how my Airport Express is sitting upstairs can't believe I forgot to actually finalize the position I got a little bit overexcited there but uh, yeah that's where it's gonna sit for now. I need to improve some cabling, but any of these projects that you see that are kind of need a little bit of TLC, uh, you'll see the finalized versions in the house tour because once I finally get the living room finished, finally get the kitchen finished, get all of the tech stuff finished, my plan is to do a tech tour of the house. So it would be like a home network slash tech tour of all of the integrated technology in my home which isn't loads, especially considering some of the systems that people are installing these days, but just a nice amount for us. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Andy, big thank you, huge, huge thank you. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video.